Hey, what's going on guys? It is Folks here and welcome to episode 7 of Manual Focus. And today guys, we are going to be bringing you obviously episode 7 of Manual Focus and we left last episode on a bit of cliffhanger on if we, this villager next to me, if we could get, get him a uh, mending trade. So, so guys, here we go. Did we get him or did we not? Let's find out. Drum roll please. Yes guys. We got the mending book. Here we go, guys. So, we need to go and lock this in quickly before we actually lose it. Have we got any... Oh, God. I forgot that was in my offhand. Yes, we have got... We can buy a book. Yes, 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 yes. Mending for one emerald. This guy right here will give me a mending for one emerald. Bang. There we go, guys. We have now got a mending villager. Uh, villager. Jesus. I cannot speak today. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty good. We put that in there. And because I'm feeling really positive right now, after we've just got a mending villager after only like, I don't know, like, what's this day? Like, nearly a full day of Minecraft world, um, the old trading and doing all that shenanigans, which is not bad. I can uh, assure you guys that is not bad going. Uh, sometimes there's certain books that you're looking for, it can take hours. Um, and guys, as soon as we have actually got all of this iron and good stuff enchanted, we're, go we're going to fight the weather. I don't care, we need a beacon. You see what I mean by how bright it is? Bright, how bright it is. It really annoys me. Anyway, guys, let's de enchant this pickaxe with a commune of XP. No, but what are we going to get? Yes! Okay, right. Wow. Oh, I'm so tired after waiting for so long just to get that stupid fortune. It's about to be night time. We only need a tiny bit more XP. And then we should be sweet. Um, I am going to harvest this sh um, sugar cane soon. But, like I said, guys, as soon as we are uh, you know, rolling with armor, tools, and um, you know, we we've got everything you know, enchanted how we want it to be, we can start on our um, 1.15 industrial um, area. And guys, the reason I'm so excited for the 1.15 industrial area is, to be honest, it's because I just really can't wait to start experimenting. Um, you know, with all the things that will be removed in 1.16, because it's going to be quite a sad time for us redstoners. There's a lot of nice things getting removed, though, like AFK fishing, which we will be doing over here, but we'll make a really, really... I want to, well, what I want to do is make a sick sorting system. I've seen um, El Mango design um, for a fishing, uh, automatic fishing thing where it sorts the items as well. Really, really want to see that. And yeah, guys, I basically just want to see some really, really cool uh, things over there. Like, obviously, we're going to absolutely uh, um, abuse zero tick farms. We could just do the classic old, you know, sugar cane moving machines where we just swipe up a bunch of sugar cane. But guys, they, they aren't as fast as zero tick farms with uh, your, like, zero tick bamboo farms and stuff. So what we will be doing is, uh, is making massive, massive um, sorting systems over there. Um... Just so we can do that, but obviously first we have to make an iron farm somewhere, which we're not going to do in the industry area because 1.50 in the industrial area is going to be every farm you're like that will be there is going to be broken when we upgrade to 1.16. That's the idea, and then we're obviously when 1.16 comes out, we'll make a new 1.16 industrial area, which won't be for 1.17. You know when that breaks, that'll be mainly for like. Oh, sorry, I hit my microphone there. That'd be mainly for, like, stuff that won't work in 1.15 now. So we will obviously be making bamboo farms without zero tick, sugar cane farms without zero tick. Um, you know, we'll have to find a... Oh, God. Find a lot of different ways, you know, to actually, you know, to be able to help you. We'll have to find a lot more different ways to actually be able to get items um, for, you, you, you know... Me and you to actually, um, you know, progress in this world. But yeah, as soon as we've got all of this kind of stuff, um, we'll be also going to the end, getting the elytra. And a lot of people think, you know, let's go on the sunset here. A lot of people think the, you know, like when you go to the end, it's over. But guys, for people like me, the end is just the start. And yeah, when we go to the end, we get shulker boxes and elytras and stuff. That's just the start of the survivor world. For me, personally. But yeah. And guys, here we go. Okay, I'll take it. We've got an unbreaking book now, which just makes me so excited. Because, yes, we've got some decent Tulsa ones. So, you know what it is time now, guys? It's obviously time to go and get more XP. So, I'm going to get us um, lined up straight down here. Get our diamond armor crafted. And I'm probably going to go and collect some quartz. And guys, I've got loads of quartz of inventory. We're about to die. And... Can sucks. We're not next to lava, I don't think. 
it's just kind of sucks because we have level 31 levels. We have to get them back by using quartz. But I know we're going to die. Let's run as far away as we can. Drop down this quarter to this run back there. That's a gain, guys. Ah, oh, 28 levels down the bin. Um, did I? Oh, I took my ammo with me. I need to go and get that stuff quickly. Okay, guys, I think I've just found the new best way to get XP. I've accidentally got myself into this position, but I'm getting XP for days. They just keep on spawning. Now, I do know how Pikmin farms work, guys. If you guys are a fan of my Cosmic episodes, you would know I was a big, big Pikmin guy over there. But, um,. I mean, I always thought it didn't work very well, but I guess we're on single player at the moment. And we've got a Pikmin head. Any more? Oh, he's that good still. I'm just going to get all of his gold quickly. Wow. I will definitely be taking that from them. Um, and that Pikmin head. But yeah, there was quite a few around here. And um, I mean, I actually aggroed him, trying to get some quartz uh, from over here. I think I just actually hit him. And... Um, they all started coming after me, but I just blocked up too, and they couldn't get to me, and yeah, we got quite a bit of XP from that. We went up about three levels, which is not bad from just a few little Pikmin spots, so if I say, like, if I see any more areas like this, oh, this guy's still aggroed on me, any more of your, like, areas that are still, like, um, like, a pretty flat, but we've got a lot of Pikmin spawning in, I might as well, like, this is probably going to start gathering up a bunch here. If that gas wherever he's gone doesn't bother me. Um... I mean, I've got a question for you guys. I think, I, I don't think this is a dream. Do you guys remember when, if you broke um, some quartz every now and again, it would explode? And then all the Pikmin would get aggroed to you? Do you remember that that was a thing? Because I do. And I've completely messed myself up here because I've also got a ghast on me. Okay, 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 okay. Right. I'm not in the best of situations here. At all, I'll be the first one to admit that. Oh, and the ghast is gone. Um, now let's kill all of these pigmen. I mean, look how easy this is. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> this is insane, man. Honestly, this is like without even making the farm, I could just get so much gold and XP just from doing this. And look, they keep on coming. Why are you there? Look, they keep on coming. Why is it? Why is it not all zombies? the hell? Where are these normal, normal zombies coming from? It's, it's what I don't understand. Why does this happen to me every time? I'm literally like level 35 and I get slain by a zombie pigman and I'm so lucky I've saved these quarters. I'm going to have to quickly run there. Now I have to keep on grinding to get more levels. I just, why? Why? Okay, guys, so I'm currently just on my way back. If I could just get this gas, there we go. Um, I've just seen our Never Fortress. I'm on literally about to be zero potatoes. There we go. And, guys, um, I've been mining for quite a bit, and so what I've been doing is actually getting loads of levels. So, as you can see, we're about to hit level 48, which is crazy. Um, so, we could probably get that protection for on that chest plate now because. Actually, to be honest, we uh, we could probably do with getting a new hel um, new helmet as well. But that chest plate is the main priority right now. I need to work out a safe way to get down here. Whoa, how did I not take any damage? That is a weird glitch in Minecraft that keeps it happening to me. But um, yeah, I think if we just run through here, if I know this fortress well enough. Oh guys, I'm going to be some wither skeletons over here. I think I might just, um, you know... Have a quick crack at them. Nope, nothing from him. Yep, and nothing from him, like predicted. Um, I do not like that blade spawner, but... what? Oh, I'm there's one more there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, this might not be good. I cannot die. Please don't hit me. You're dead. And did you give me a skull? Nope, so I don't really care. Right, let's get out of here. Um, 
Right, get out, get out, get out. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Where, where the, where the, yes, 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 yes. This is the portal. This is the portal. Right, we've got 48 levels. Oh, oh, we've done it. We've done it. 48 levels and we're through. There we go. Oh, hello, friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, okay, okay, okay. We've got so much stuff. Um, okay. Okay, 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 let's get, let's get everything done. Oh, by the way, something that I didn't actually show you guys. So, we've actually got, we um, bought a few mending books. Got a mending on our sword. Uh, mended on our fortune free pickaxe. Uh, with um, a mended on our silk torch. Mended on our axe. And I enchanted a brand new shovel to get silk torch. Because, um, as you can see, this one in here is nearly dead. It has fortune free, so I thought we might as well keep it. But, um, yeah, so let's get all of this stuff organised down below. And then we can actually move on to... Um, to, you know, enchanting some more stuff. Okay, guys, so I've just come on here. We've got a protection for enchant, so we are going to take that. Yes! That is so good! Fallen through as well. That is really, really good, guys. Okay, so we are looking really good at the moment. So look at that. The these two are perfect. So you can get some mended on that, probably some fawns on that and stuff. But what I want to do is actually... So I'm going to make another helmet, another boot, just to see if we, you know, if we can combine two together. Uh, so let's just see what these are gonna give us. Okay, I'm gonna try and get. Um, I'm gonna try and get either Depth Rider or your Fall. Oh, okay. Please give us Fair Fallen. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. What's the helmet saying? I'm breaking. Okay, we'll keep on. Um, you're trying to get like a decent enchant on there, like protection or something. And as I say that, we take that. Okay, we'll take that because we can combine that. And that's a decent helmet because we can put mending and unbreaking on it. And now, because we've got loads of diamonds, I'm hoping we can try and get a um, a feather falling four inch on Oops. Feather falling one, but it's not good enough. And guys, this is the last chance. Let's just try it. Nah, we didn't get it. Okay, okay, okay. So, we've got some decent enchants so far. Um, I don't know really what I want to do right now. I mean, just looking at our tools, we can combine a lot of stuff here. I mean... All we need is a Feather Falling 4 Villager, realistically, so maybe we might try and get one of them. Um, but I'm very happy with our armour and stuff right now. Um, I'm hoping we can combine them. Okay, guys, so I've just spent the whole night trying to, trying to get a zombie villager and get some uh, that stuff. We've got a phantom head, which, I mean, <laughs> it's a phantom head. But um, we haven't really got anything you know, like, like a zombie uh, villager or anything. I did um, combine quite a bit of this armour. Um, so we are looking really, really good on that room. But yeah, I didn't really get that much stuff. But I'm just going to use this XP, 13 XP levels I got from killing zombies and stuff. To actually going, you know, finish combining and naming stuff. So we got Lucky Lucky Picky. Uh, we, this guy's going to be called Silky. There you go, guys. There was Silky with five Ys. Um, Axie? I guess that'll work. Shoves? I don't, I don't really know where I'm going with this. And guys, we actually are going to need... About 20 levels to be able to do this. Oh no, 10. Okay, we can get a good 10 one out of this. Okay, guys, so I've been down here making a little bit of process and actually process, I mean progress. Before we actually do just carry on with um, showing you guys what, we, what we've what we done, let's just enchant these quickly. There we go, some half decent boots. Now we've got literally no levels. But yeah, I've done this little um, thing over here. Um, so this is where we're going to be AFK fishing. So I thought maybe I'll have some chests under here for now so we can actually get levels by AFK fishing when I go out and I can just AFK here. Like I explained in the last episode, the 1.15 um, industrial farm will still have a massive, obviously, organiser of the AFK fisher because obviously it's going to be removed in 1.16, which is really sad. So we will be making another AFK fisher, um, which is obviously better. But guys, that's going to be a project that's going to be probably worked over on like over a month. So we are going to ha have plenty plenty of time before that but it's really real ah can I speak I just realized the ceiling is actually not done so I'm gonna complete that quickly And there we go guys, that is now complete up there. Obviously I need to finish off this part here and put in a few extra chests, but apart from that, this is looking really, really cool underneath here. Really like this little um, ceiling I've done here, you know, 
quite a crammed little ceiling. Is there a gap anywhere? No, there's not. But obviously this rain will be coming through when we've terrained over the top of it with dirt. Um, which is going to be quite a task because I did have to dig in quite too um, into the ground there. But this is probably where the end of this part is going to be because if you look, we can't really... Uh, we can't go a bit further. I was thinking about doing another glass thing here, but I just don't think it will fit very well. So I think we might make like a little steel stopping sign here or something. Maybe like put some rails that look like it still needs to continue to be mining like it's in the works. Um, one thing we have got on this server is the Armistan people. So I think I might add a few of them in. You're like that working on mining that part out. That could look really, really cool. But yeah, guys, um, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm actually thinking about it. Never, nah, we won't put another portal down here. Um, but yeah, let's um, you know, let's see what you know what the um, what brings us next on this server because I'm really enjoying playing this right now, guys. Really motivated to play it because it's really really fun, and I've got so many plans that I'm going to start you know, putting in a notepad so we can actually you know plan on what we want to do. Okay, guys. So what I have done is I've actually just got us one of the um, your know, Armistan books, which we are going to need for to actually do the Armistan. So this is probably going to probably going to lower ourselves to about five copies. Uh, which we can scatter across different bases, but we're going to put it there for now. So let's remember not to lose this because we don't want to be using one of our five books that we actually do want to do. Because I think I might start working on this soon because I really, really want to try and have an idea or have a little plan on what we could do with this. Because I think we could make this look really cool, some you know, people working on the mine and stuff. So we'll probably get onto that soon. Guys, we found one. This is a zombie villager here. I'm just get out here getting XP and I've actually found one. So... I'm going to try and lure him as far as I can. So, will he pick up a helmet? He will, he will, won't he? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys. Wow. I love this guy already. Let's get him down there. Oh, God. This is going to be hard. Okay, there's too many of them. Okay. Um, okay. Right, so let's try not to hit him. If it's like, you know... So, actually, I'm going to use my axe so we don't actually accidentally hit him. So here we go, let's kill all of these. It is going to turn day, but a lot of these will die. I really want the XP though, to be fair with you. There's no point in digging him in a hole. Where is he? He's in the middle there. Okay, that was a good job, I didn't actually hit that. He's not going to despawn. All of these will burn though. Okay. Just don't hit the gold helmet, Harry. Okay, see they're burning. They're the weak. Okay, there we go, there we go, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, 90 levels from one night is not bad. We went from 0 to 19. So let's lure this guy back over and let's heal him because if I've got to be honest with you guys, I was in the base and where we usually, you're like, um, get the villagers, I was thinking, oh, we're not going to need this anymore. But then as soon as I come out, you're for one night, we get a zombie villager. Um, so what I meant by that was, there was where we actually dropped down the villagers, we had to put some cobble there and get rid of the stairs so we could actually drop them down on rails. Um, but luckily we um we did actually get away with that um because oh my god because then we could place rails on top of them when we replaced them um you know, with a block and got rid of the stair and I thought well I'm gonna put the other stair back and um, get rid of the block because I thought well we're not gonna not gonna need a um, to get a villager down here for a while but I thought I just thought you know I won't need it. But guys, look at that. As soon as I come out, as soon as I've done that, you know, we've tried a couple of nights to actually get these guys. Um, and we're not being able to get them. But as soon as, obviously, I repair everything so we don't get any more, of course we get one. So, I now need to figure out whereabouts. Yep, this is the hole. And let's go in there. And there we go. We can go and get our healing stuff and heal this guy up. Okay, guys. So, as we do come down here... Um, I'm gonna you know, empty my inventory just for a second. And guys, we actually do need some more a uh, um, some more potions. So we need to get uh, one sugar, boop, one mushroom, and one spider eye. And boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now we actually need to grab some um, glass bottles. Glass bottles have been made, and if we can actually come over to IFK Fish and just get the uh, water from there. Have we dropped one? No, we haven't. Let's go over here. Put them in there. Actually, I was thinking then. We actually wasted a lot by breaking that brewing stone last time. If we just place it down here, we can keep it here for the time being. And what I meant by that, guys, is as you can see, it's not going to brew right now. What we actually did last time is waste a lot of blaze powder by, you know, not breaking it and get rid of all the charge it already had. So if we just keep it there for the time being and grab a gap, um, oh, and grab a gapple, we're also going to need a um, one piece of gunpowder so we can actually 
make them splash. There we go, guys. We got weakless potions. And now, if we go up to the top here and come over to here, open up this for a second. There he is. Let's just splash a weakness potion at him and give him a gown. God, gap. I can't speak. Give him a golden apple, and there we go, guys. He's now healing, which is all good. And yeah, this guy will heal up and become a villager, and we can actually probably use him. Um, what are we going to use him for? Hmm. This guy, guys, I think we might use for actually, um, actually getting emeralds. I think what I'm going to try and do is get a the or like the when you can give him books, and well, in fact, we've got a villager down there that will give us. Um, if we give him one book, he'll give us one emerald. So what I might try and do is actually get the you know, put a zombie in here, get this guy to die again, and get zombie farm again. So we can actually get bookshelves for one emerald. Um, you know, for like per bookshelf, and then make two emerald profit every time we sell it to the other one. And uh, somebody actually suggested this, not like probably like episode one, two, or three about doing this method, which is a really good method if you ask me. Um, so we can actually make a lot of emeralds. And one enchantment I'd love to get on this guy also would either be like feather falling four if we could get that or even look something like self touch and uh, efficiency five or something like that on this villager even protection four would be great you know something that will be useful down the line so yeah we're gonna wait for this guy to actually heal up and then we will be able to um you know, let's, you know give him a, a trade and you know set him up so what i'm gonna do is actually work on the pod that downstairs you have got to be taking the mic bloody these useless pieces of... you, you, you can't even trade with him like that's just a waste it's one of them green... Ah, that's made me really angry. Wow, I cannot believe that. Well, looks like we're going to be on the search for another zombie villager. Ah, 